If your BMW F10 still has the OEM screen in 2024, you are seriously missing out on a lot of features like CarPlay, Android Auto, Waze, and much better reversing camera. These are all things that could help you make your car feel new again, and they're things that do not cost a lot to upgrade on your vehicle. Hello everyone, I am Bogdan. I usually help people upgrade their vehicles, and in this video, we are going to address eight tips that will ensure you're getting the best media unit for your BMW F10. A bit of an overview of the history of the 5 Series. They have been shipped with two different types of screens. A 7 inch screen, which makes the car look awful, and a 10.2 inch screen, which is much, much better. It's more decent. But in 2024, with both options, the cars feel old. If we look on the market at other options, we have seen that the aftermarket has developed three main types of units that can be fitted on the BMWs. So at number one, at our first step is know our options. And here is where we describe the fact that the basic unit is a 10.25 unit that is very similar to the BMW original one. The next option is a 12.6 unit, similar to this one, the one that I'm installing the most and the one that I'm having on my vehicle. And recently, there is a 15 inch screen unit. Some sellers are advertising it as 14.5, others are advertising it as 14.9, and others are advertising it as 15. All of them are the same. That is the latest and greatest. With all of these units, you need to be mindful that in pictures, they might look a little bit iffy. But if what I've learned from the 12.6 unit is valid, when you're actually sitting next to the unit, they look much, much better. You know roughly your options. Now we need to address finding out what configuration you have on your vehicle. The size of the screen tells you only part of the story. We need to know what type of media unit what type of box is running on your vehicle. We are searching to identify if it is a CIC or an MBT unit. Later, this information will help. Usually you can tell based on the menu. So pictures over here and over there. MBT, different menu than the CIC. And usually the information that we need is regarding the type of connector that we will need to ensure that we can connect to the vehicle. Roughly, we know our area, we know what we are searching for. We are going to go on our shopping platforms of choice. You can use Amazon, you can use eBay, you can use AliExpress. What I've noticed recently, AliExpress is better priced, is able to deliver quite faster units, and it has more variety on the products. Amazon is much, much faster, but the latest and greatest 15 inch units are not available on Amazon. eBay is the middle ground, but choose the one that you want. I usually recommend AliExpress. I will offer links, referral links to all of the products that I've used and I've tested. If you're buying something with our referral links, a small commission might be coming back to our channel and helping us do content similar to this one. So. Take a look at those ones. Once you are on these shopping platforms, you will also ask me the question of what spec should you get? This is the tricky thing to answer, or it's a big myth. To run these units and to have a good user interface, the configuration, the specs don't matter that much. What matters is the quality of the screen and having decent software. As a rough ad advice, if you're getting anything that has a Snapdragon at least 662 CPU, 4 core, and 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of ROM, you have the hardware needed to run Android Auto and CarPlay, especially because Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are not running on the media unit itself. They're running on your phone and using the CPU that your phone is, uh, is having. And this is just displaying that content on a much, much bigger screen. At this point in time, you have committed to doing a purchase, which is more sig significant, but there might be a very good, or this might be a very good moment in which we can ask ourselves if 
we want a rear view camera because if we compare the price that we're paying on the unit the camera itself is almost nothing in the sense that a decent camera is in the 20 pound area so it might be the perfect moment to buy the camera with the unit a big big tip or a very important thing you will thank me later is make sure that you have a 10 or even longer uh, connection cable between the camera and the unit you will see later why you need you need that bit also unit ordered maybe you got also your camera one two weeks have passed and you have received your nice little unit in a nice little box what will you do now will you wait for perfect weather to install it on your vehicle or will you wait for when you have time to to actually uh, install it that is a big mistake ideally you need to install it as soon as possible because many of these shopping platforms give you a 15 30 day period in which you can return or you can dispute your purchase and that is a very important bit in ensuring that your unit is properly functional everything works according to it these suppliers change their stock things can happen in the quality chain in the supply chain so my big advice is to make sure that this unit is installed and is tested in that 30 day period and all your issues are documented and discussed with the supplier to make sure that you're not losing your money with products that are not the correct quality okay even in the install part even with a unit that is a good unit you might have moments when labels are not correctly uh, placed or you might have some cables that haven't been connected where they should and they create all sorts of problems do not panic usually it's a simple fix and usually the suppliers will be helping you with additional information to ensure that your product is working according to how it should work on your vehicle the last thing that you need to keep in mind is to be having realistic expectations regarding your product the original by the book upgrade on a bmw is somewhere in the area of 1000 pound in the genuine parts and even so some of the functions will not be at the same level as these android units so when you're paying less than half of that you could have less expectations or you could be more mindful of allowing the unit a bit more time to load up or actually doing the settings to to go and find uh, go around for the issues that you might have now overall these units bring a lot of capability at affordable prices and they're a bargain now to buy sometimes i'm not even recommending the oem retrofits and i'm recommending these units because if you want to sell your vehicle it's easier to remove this one you don't need to do any coding you don't mess around with too many things on a vehicle now if you want to see more content regarding these units in this video we review a different unit maybe you have some uh, information that will help you Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.